What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cars and Things. I've got such a cool episode for you guys. I'm going to be teaching you, yep, giving you the 411 on how to drift a rear wheel drive car. So I've got my M4 over here. I haven't really drifted it before, but I am going to be giving you all the steps, all the tips, all the tricks on how to drift a BMW. So let's get into how we in fact begin to drift this car. So this car's already on already. What I need to do is, of course, uh, put it into drive mode. Make sure that your handbrake is still up and your foot is on the brakes as well. So the car doesn't launch itself forward, you know. So the next steps after that is, it's already on automatic drive mode, as you can see over here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play around with this little button right over here and what it basically does is it just makes your shifts a bit more aggressive i've noticed on my car whenever i've got it it's got about three modes whenever i've got it to its highest the exhaust sounds absolutely amazing so there's this button over here which would be the last step if you press it once, it puts you on an MDM mode, as you can see over here. And that's almost like an autoplay mode. It controls some of your movements and really makes you look pretty. But we're not trying to look pretty here. We're trying to do a donut. So I'm going to press and hold this button. It's going to show me a sign saying DSC deactivated. That's how you know that your traction is now fully off. I'm going to put the car on M2 mode. I've already preset my M2 mode to be on the highest and most aggressive sports function and that is sports plus. With that said and with that done, let's move on to the donut. your rear wheel drive car so you can have some one more for the road I assure you I had so much fun um, try it if you do have an opportunity I think everyone at least once in their lives should be able to do a donut so please make sure you remember and you abide by all the steps as well. You really don't want to mess up your car uh, by doing all these things. But people who buy these types of cars really want to have this kind of fun, uh, be it on the road or on a track. It's so exhilarating. Like I get so much joy from this stuff. So this was a super cool episode. I had some fun. I was trying something totally new and I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to do it a couple more times. But also just remember, Guys, please like and subscribe if you really dig it and you want to see shows or episodes like this. I'm going to be doing some really cool stuff with some really cool cars. So like, share, subscribe, share it with your friends and we can have some fun and hear sounds like these. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to again. So badass. We're going to have a lot of cool content like this. So I think the next episode should be showing you guys uh, one of my new purchases. Uh, just a really cool car and I'm having so much fun driving it but let's explore this car a bit more so comment down below 
let me know what more you want to see and then we can make it happen. I've been seeing your guys' comments and we will definitely be showcasing some of those ready.